What's good, Hood Rich fan, man? It's your boy, Hood Rich Credit, back at it again with another fucking banger, y'all. Look, man, today I got the sauce for y'all, man. Y'all don't understand, but I got the sauce for y'all today, man. Especially for my Navy Fed members, man. A lot of y'all been confused about pledge loans, man. I've been getting a lot of DMs. Oh, how does pledge loans work, man? How you got the sauce? Like, how can you, like, really, like take full advantage with the pledge loans man so i did write down some sauce for y'all man i had to include everything in here just so i won't miss nothing out for y'all okay so yeah man navy fed pledge loan sauce pledge loan sauce enough wasting y'all time bro let's get straight into it okay so first of all how does it work well first of all you know the pledge loan is not going to be a hard pull to your credit report that is a very good benefit right if you want to have more accounts you're not going to get an additional hard report to your credit report if you want to open one. Sometimes you get dumbass representatives up on the phone saying it will be a hard report. But most likely they probably talking about another product or they just saying that just in case, right? These representatives sometimes be dumb as fuck, okay? And the minimum is 250, maximum is 100k. <laughs> Some people say that, you know, it goes past 100k, but who knows, right? Um I seen the, you know, how do I say it? I seen the document and it says 100k max okay it, it doesn't say beyond that but some people say it's beyond that and yeah basically you are using your own money to build credit or positive payments similar to like self lender y'all know how self lender is right they report a certain a certain um, installment loan right and now how do i say it? now you make the monthly payments until you reach that then they close it and then they give you back the money okay that's basically how it works but the pledge loan is a little different okay and that's the good thing about installment loans that y'all got to understand right installment loans right that's how these lenders see that you are actually making on-time payments right with um well they know like the data points they know how much you making on time payments like how much how much money you paying towards that balance okay for example with a credit card though that's i should explain that later on man i'm gonna explain that later on okay i'm gonna drop the sauce later on with this that fits in with credit mix right here okay so i'm gonna break down credit mix right now why is it important to have that installment loan but forget what i said right now okay so look basically you are using your own money to build credit or positive payments similar to stuff lender let's say you deposit the minimum 250 into your savings they will pull it from there now a 250 dollars loan appears on your mobile app that will eventually be reported to your credit report but the thing is the 250 will be deposited right back into your savings account now you just have to make the monthly payments until you reach that 250 making it close positive okay so a lot of people don't really get deep deep into what a pledge loan is like i've been seeing you know people say oh uh <laughs> you this is a pledge loan you just do this this and this they really don't get into full detail okay so there you go that's basically like the the basics of what the pledge loan is right so what do you want a pledge loan for build strong internal score relationship with navy fed okay that is very important y'all y'all should be uh, building a strong relationship with navy fed why because they give out these high limit credit cards right most institutions right had they have an internal score i already talked about this right well basically almost all institutions right if you build that strong relationship with them you will get you will get you know a higher chance of getting high limit funding or getting approved like with big bank institutions they use bank rating on a business side of credit right so it's very important to establish that relationship okay especially with navy fed right once you get that little installment loan that pledge loan <coughs> now um the more products you have with navy fed like that installment loan or a secure card you're more likely to have a higher chance of getting approved for a higher limit and most likely get approved right because you built up them data points right another way you could build a relationship is just having constant you know weekly deposits going into your navy fed checking account so yeah um the more products the better okay and like i said right credit mix that is very important y'all credit mix these lenders want to see a credit mix on your credit report right so if you have re only revolving credit cards that is not a credit mix right you don't have installment loans you don't have an auto loan right personal loans. you know you, you get what i'm saying you just have to have a credit mix man so the thing is once you have that installment loan the pledge loan now you have a variety of credit right because like i said what i was breaking down earlier where i stopped is these lenders um once you have that installment loan they could it's they could see 
how much you make it on like how much you paying towards that balance okay each month so it gives them more data points and more trust to approve you for funding because on a revolving credit card they can't really see how much you're using how much you're paying you get what i'm saying they can't really see it. other lenders can't see it so that's why installment loans are very important because revolving credit cards they just show the little check they don't show how much you're paying towards that balance um what else is next creating your own trade line for high limit funding so i'm gonna break that down later on i got it right here on the bottom but we're gonna break that down in a minute okay so pledge loan hood rich sauce okay debt to income ratio hack this is a very good um hack that i want y'all to implement when y'all go for the pledge loan right so pay 90 percent of that pledge loan immediately so then let's say if you did the minimum 250 right and you pay 190 now you have a balance of $60 and what I want y'all to do right is with that $60 balance right let's say you got that 250 right you have a six month term you could set up auto pay for $10 to finish the six months right just so you could uh, finish those $60 the remaining $60 balance 10 months I mean $10 $10 $10 $10 $10 $10, $10 until you reach that 60 and then it's closed off right you still got that how do I say it? you still got them six months right of positive payments right so the thing is once it reports once that $60 balance reports to your credit your credit report now your debt to income ratio is not that high right because it would be better for that $60 to report instead of that 250 right because you don't want that 250 reporting you're gonna have more debt on your credit profile causing your your uh, credit score to go uh, you know more down so that's why it's very important to do this debt to income ratio hack so now i want y'all to mix up this debt to income ratio hack with the how you can get the navy fit and reward secure card and a pledge loan with the same 250 dollars okay so yeah that is true you could get the navy fed secure card let's say for uh, my starters out there that want to start building their credit right y'all new to credit y'all don't have no accounts right y'all build a relationship with navy fed with getting that and rewards and that pledge loan with the same 250 some of y'all don't have that much money to build y'all credit right so y'all can use the same 250 this is a gem for y'all boys man i'm telling y'all this is a very good gem for y'all so look first you deposit that 250 into your savings right you call the representative up and ask for a pledge loan for a six month term of 250 then what I, man my typing sometimes then once the loan account appears on your mobile app do the debt to income ratio hack once the full 250 is back into your savings account call and apply for that secure card they will take the 250 and deposit deposit it into your new uh navy fed and rewards card then you just deposit that extra 60 dollars to finish the auto pay um from the pledge loan you get what i'm saying so <laughs> it's very simple y'all you just um you just deposit 250 into your savings account right now you call the representative up on the phone um you basically tell them uh, i want to open the pledge loan right six month term for 250 dollars right so um they're gonna get get that 250 create that you know installment loan then they deposit that 250 right back into your savings account right so now once they do that <coughs> you pay 190 towards that um you pay 190 towards that 250 right because once that loan appears on your account you just go there 190 right now you pay 90 percent off and now you have a 60 dollar remaining balance right this is the debt to income ratio act now you have that 60 dollar balance now you want to set up auto pay but you want to deposit an extra 60 because remember now you want that 250 to be transferred onto your end rewards when you call representative up on the phone for the end rewards card they're gonna pull that 250 out of your savings account directly onto the card so i just want y'all to deposit an extra 60 into your savings account right so you could um how do i say it? so you could finish the auto pay each month for that um for the remaining $60 balance if you guys understand what I'm saying right $10 monthly y'all understand right because that 250 is gonna be gone right they're gonna put that 250 right back into your savings account and then it's gonna be gone once you deposit it into your end rewards okay it's a little confusing 
but hopefully y'all understood i'm trying to explain it as easy as possible okay to the average person that is not really deep into the credit game but that's basically it that's how you could get the end reward secure card with the same 250 on that pledge loan okay don't mixing it up with that debt to in income ratio hack so yeah you want to do that debt to income ratio hack first once that 250 is back into your savings account now they're gonna pull that 250 and deposit it into your end rewards okay so that's a good hack that y'all want to do right now creating your trade line okay with uh <coughs> navy feds pledge loan right let's say a lot of y'all have you know a couple bread just sitting there right y'all don't y'all don't have that much like y'all have a lot of bread that y'all not doing you know plays with so let's say in this case you got 50k right let's say you want to deposit 50k they create that pledge loan once they create that pledge loan they will release that 50k back into your savings now you do that that to income ratio hack you pay that 90 percent of it asap which is 45k then they will re release that 45k back into your savings account now you just set up auto pay for the remaining amount you owe divided equally into your loan term right same shit with like the 250 right that six month term Okay, you just set set up auto pay equally into the amount of time you have on that loan term. Okay, so it's it's very simple, y'all. You using your money to build credit, right? And you using money to create your own trade line. This is very important, especially if you got that bag. Come on, man. Look, now you have a trade line of 50k reported, 90% paid off, while still getting the payment history. Y'all understand that? Okay, once you got that 50k trade line, what does that mean? Okay, you have a good trade line reporting on your credit report to the point where you could get high limit funding. You could get personal loans without docs, bro. I'm telling y'all, like this is the sauce. This is the game. This is the game with the debt to with the um, pledge loans, man. I'm telling y'all, man. And look, this is better than self lender. Y'all see how I said this is similar to self lender. This this is better than self lender, okay? Because you building a relationship with an official institution that can eventually get you better products, right? With self lender, you're not gonna get better products. You're not building a relationship with shit. The fuck does self lender have to offer? Okay, you get you understand what I'm saying. That's why it's very important to build relationships with institutions that offer this, right? Because you build your you build your way up. Okay, you get that you 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 um you start building with that um uh, pledge loan. Now you built that trust with them. Now you could get 25k limit swipes. Now you could get personal loans with them. No docs, like I said, lines of credit, right? because you built that relationship now you could get that business swipe this is going to be very easy y'all i'm telling y'all that's why it's very important to go for official accounts that come from official institutions that offer better products that's why these secondary you know credit builders like self lender kickoff and all that they straight you get what i'm saying they good but they're not as good as if you were to go with an official institution i always say this shit okay <laughs> so yeah man this is the hood rich sauce man i taught y'all a lot of game on this shit man that people don't really get into debt with this shit man i'm probably the only you know uh i guess credit guru whatever the fuck you want to call me i'm just me i'm hood rich credit okay fuck that i'm hood rich credit I'm credit guru nigga. i'm hood rich credit but yeah i'm probably the only one on this platform but that's really like going deep into detail with this shit man i'm telling y'all debt to income ratio hat you can get the end reward secure and the pledge loan with the same 250 man if y'all struggling on money right i know sometimes it's hard you know you you don't got that much bread on you right so this is the perfect play you get two accounts with just that same 250 well you still gotta deposit that 60 dollars in right to finish the auto pay on the rest of the 60 dollar remaining balance but hey it's way better than putting 250 on your um 250 on your end rewards and then you got to put up another 250 on that pledge loan you get what i'm saying so this is the sauce man i'm dropping the sauce i'm dropping the gems man and you creating your own trade line come on man this is a primary okay y'all don't go y'all don't have to do the debt reassignment or whatever even though that's you know that's very good but there you go creating your own trade line man i'm telling y'all so um Hurrish <laughs> fam, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. I'm dropping the sauce every fucking day. I'm telling y'all, bro. And look, man, I, t I even typed all this shit for y'all, man, just so y'all could see. Like, if y'all if y'all really didn't understand what I was saying, y'all could read this shit and be like, oh, you do this, okay. Let me do this shit now, okay. Let me do this. Like, I even dropped it down. Like, I wrote this shit down, even though I didn't want. I didn't even want to type this shit, bro. You know, I woke up early as fuck in the morning and you know type this shit, okay. So. Uh, yeah, man, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Hood Rich fam, y'all have a good day. The Hood Rich way, gone.